and we've found. The first of which, again, being really good ears. Can you diagnose what's going on around you? Really figure out what's going on without being handed sheet music. It's a big deal. But also, when you get to that musical scenario and you've figured out what's going on, that's going to be up to you to decide what you're going to play and what you're going to add. Whether that involves hearing something in your head first or whether that involves kind of just experimenting on your instrument. Either way, no one's going to tell you what to play like we're used to. Meaning, we are going to give you a context but we're not going to tell you what to play. That's going to be for you to decide for us. So we're going to tackle those two things today and hope, that, and hope that we can send you off a little bit more equipped to maybe start exploring what type of musician you'd like to be. What, what's your musical life going to look like? Where would you like to play your instrument in other scenarios? OK? I think we should warm up. All right, let's warm up. I'm going to play some notes. I'm going to start nice and easy on my open D string. You guys just play them right back to me, OK? Instruments up. Me first. Yes, you have great ears. That's a big deal. 